is Riley Gannon. Um, I went to undergraduate at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, a school in Albany, New York. My degree was in geology. I am now a graduate student at UCSD. So a lot of people believe that geology is the study of rocks, but when you start a geology degree, you're really taught that it's more of an earth science degree. You can focus a lot in other areas, such as geophysics and geochemistry. Um, if you do geophysics, you can get a job in the oil industry, for instance. You're studying you know, the more physical side of geology. But if you do chemistry with geology, then you might be studying the composition of minerals and rocks and how the earth was formed. Geology is a great degree for pretty much anyone that's interested in earth science. There are so many facets to it that you can really study. Um, like I mentioned before, you can do geophysics or geochemistry, but also people that are interested in, in environmental science, for instance, can also pursue a geology degree and end up, that, end up with a good base for environmental science. With a degree in geology, you have a lot of options for work after you graduate. Um, one really obvious option that you can do once you've gotten your degree is that you can go into any kind of environmental consulting. So if you want to work for you know, the state, the government, you can help, help them find pipes and survey the land and many, many things like that. But if that's not what you're interested in, you can also get a job with a natural history museum, for instance. You can work at museums. You can become a park ranger, which is also exciting. That's something that I've always kind of, kind of wanted to do. Um, but more often than not, people that get a degree in geology tend to end up going into higher education. For instance, I'm getting my PhD right now at UCSD, and it just really, really helps to show, show you more options and gives you more options, and you can, you can really take your degree wherever you want to go if you go into higher education. So a typical course load for a geology degree, you know, it can vary quite a bit and you can make it what you want out of the degree. So you can take a lot of physics courses or chemistry courses to really supplement the focus that you want to be achieving in your geology degree. But typically, you know, you have to take a certain subset of, of uh, required courses, uh, such as, you know, f there are courses like field methods and structural geology and you know, there is a lot of math involved, not too much, but you know, anybody that's not math intensive, you can get around it. Um, I took a, I've taken a few classes, you know, some that stand out for me especially are, I took an oceanography class that really kind of made me realize that I loved oceanography and that is what I'm studying here at UCSD now. Um, but a lot of the classes that, you know, some of my better memories from a lot of the classes that I've taken are because, are, a lot of the memories come from the fact that so many of these classes are, are built in field work. Um, you know, our class field methods was once a week, and every week we would either go out on a Wednesday or a Saturday and go out into the field and, you know, dig ditches and pick up rocks and just investigate what the local geology was like. And, you know, there was a lot, always a lot of fun to get your hands dirty and go in and experience what was actually going on in the earth around you. Geology is a very interdisciplinary degree, meaning you know it takes aspects from all sorts of subjects. So because of that, you know geology does really share a lot of qualities with you know current course loads that you'd be taking in high school. But there aren't any specific classes that really ring true to me. My best advice to you is that if you are really enjoying your chemistry classes or your physics classes, but you kind of like the idea of doing something a little bit more hands-on or, or involved in field work then you should really you know, focus on these classes and maybe consider a geology degree. So if I have any advice that I could give you, you know, regarding your future, your major, or anything like that, is to work harder. No matter, what you're, no matter how hard you think you're working, you should always try to work harder. I, when I was in high school, you know, my classes did always come a little bit easier to me. And you know, I didn't struggle through college so much. But now that I'm in graduate school, I never really built up a very excellent work ethic. And I am 
working very, very hard right now, and I'm making up for lost time where I was not working quite so hard. So try to build up that work ethic while you can, and things will come more easily to you in the future.